you know, one of the best parts about working here, we got all this beautiful scenery. We got like beautiful paths and like a beautiful overview. Look at the mountain view. Well, it's not really a mountain view, it's an office building, but whatever. And then you got like, you look over here, you got this babbling brook over here. Like, look at this babbling brook. Like it's, uh, 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 it's babbling brook. Heck yeah, pretty as shit. For my male audience. They always make it look so easy. All right, it's dripping all over me. They always make it look so easy. Struggle's real. My God. Why not? The aftermath. Where is it? I'm gonna show you guys why you can never trust a pit bull. Just a warning, it might get a little graphic. Oh, I'm almost dead. This guy's good, man. He's gonna make sure that the concrete grows really, uh, really good in the off season. You gotta water it at least three times a day. You know, otherwise you're not gonna get the growth that you want in the springtime. So, you know, it's important. Nine one one. Where is your emergency? What do you mean? You can't be there anymore. Where are you? You're at the hospital. Where are you trying to go? Home. Um, that's not how this works. 911 only goes in one direction. Okay? Yeah, right. Try Uber. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, looks like the sleepy paramedic has invaded my personal space with his army sending me 5,000 croissants. It's never a bad thing when you're part of the community. Thanks so much, guys. Why don't you want to take in the water? I'm taking a nap. You want to take a nap? I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. Good night. Good night. No. Another 12 hours down. No. Hope your day gets better. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Positive energy. Shut up! Do you or do you not feel bonita? I feel bonita. Wonderful, because you look bonita. And the tow hitch is going to automatically pop out of the bumper. No. Thank you guys so much for 60,000. We're gonna keep it going. Let's get after it. I'm gonna have to like bring you down to earth for a sec. There is no way you're getting tickets for that show, but I love your enthusiasm. I declare war. For the past like six hours, I've been getting hit with pizzas and croissants nonstop. I I'm literally covered in pizzas and croissants everywhere. Well, now it's my turn. It's time to make a mess. So now it's time to take it back. Back to when we were kids. What's the messiest thing you ever had when you were a kid? That ice cream cone. That's right, it's time to make a mess. Pizza's sloppy, croissants are delicious, but it's time to get messy. So I want all you guys to start hurling ice cream cones like it's your job. All their content, all their videos, ice cream cones like your life depended on it. Let's go. Ice cream army, full effect. Let's do it. They don't stop. The croissants don't stop. I've had a thousand notifications with croissants.
January 7th, 2023. It has been five days since the great croissant wars of TikTok have begun. The armies have advanced, but we've parried their every thrust. We will not give up, we will not surrender. It would appear they've taken faction with the pizza army and something random with puzzle pieces and crayons. I don't even think they'll taste good. We will stand strong, the ice cream army, though we be few, we be mighty. We will live on, we will never falter. We fight today and every day until we could fight no more. The croissant army presses on and rages in comments and feeds and lives. We will do the same. We'll do the same. if this has been asked but what in specific terms is your profession also why did you get into said profession it's a good question the one that might be a little vague seeing as how i post a lot of different types of content on here so let's talk about it. so my actual profession is i am a 911 emergency medical dispatcher that's what keeps my lights on right so what that actually entails is i'm able to dispatch police fire ems to any type of call that they might be warranted at in order to do that you need to have at least your 911 telecommunicator certification and your emergency medical dispatch certification. The emergency medical dispatch certification being something that you need to take CEU classes in order to maintain. Now, I'm also a volunteer EMT, and I chose to stick with volunteer because I feel like it's a great way to give back to my community, and I just feel like it's the right thing for me to do. It's just one of those things that I always wanted to do growing up. I used to see the trucks go flying by just like any other kid. They used to want to be a part of it, and now I get to walk in line with them, and it's a really good feeling. But as to why I truly got into both of them, is because of one phrase that I heard while I was growing up, and that service to others is the rent we pay for our room here on Earth. It is our obligation as good members of society to take care of those around us. And that's why I got into it. You can best believe that if you need a 911 response and I answer the phone, or if you need a 911 response and I'm driving the truck, I got you. The only time Bobby Boucher on the V is quite bad wrong, you're a famous young Bobby Boucher, I am.